The new Peter Pan movie, Peter Pan and Wendy, that was at least partially filmed on locations, I think, around the Bonavista Peninsula in Newfoundland. Uh, that movie's coming out soon. I uh, saw the trailer for it fairly recently, and it just got me thinking a little bit about the connection between Newfoundland and Neverland, and got me thinking a little bit about movies and the great Gordon Pinsent, who, who just very recently passed away, and probably Newfoundland's best known actor. Just got me thinking a little bit about all of it, put all together. Gordon Pinson played a role in the shipping news, pretty big high profile role for him in his native Newfoundland. And uh, everybody remembers the great Siskel and Ebert. Roger Ebert reviewed the movie back in 2001, 2002, whenever the movie came out. And uh, one of the quotes from his review that really stands out, he says, I'm just gonna read it exactly as it, as it says. There's never the sense that Coil Point or any place remotely like it could exist outside this movie. Maybe this is Canadian magic realism. It's just kind of funny because, you know, it is a little bit over the top for sure, a little bit exaggerated. I kind of know what he's talking about with the characters that lived in, in the town, but some film critic from Chicago can't imagine a place like this existing. Isn't that kind of the point? I love this place. It wasn't always like this. I left pretty much as soon as I was able to leave. I actually, I failed math in grade 12 and I had to do summer school. The day I finished summer school, I remember going home, fixing up my resume and printing off a copy, bringing that printed copy of my resume to my buddy Corey Watson's house because Corey Watson had a fax machine and I had to fax the printed copy of my resume to this hotel in Jasper, Alberta that was advertising in the newspaper, in the evening telegram, that they were looking for dishwashers and housekeepers and food and beverage servers. Applying for jobs in uh, 1997 was a lot different than it is today. This was my first move after finishing high school. When I actually put my feet on the ground in another Canadian province, I just remember thinking to myself, I'm never going back to live in Newfoundland. I, I was out. In the first maybe two years or so, I went back for maybe two visits. But then after that, there was a almost five year stretch where I did not go back for anything, for Christmas, for my mom and dad's 25th wedding anniversary. For no, I did not go home at all, and I have no interest really in going home. It was the first trip that I made back home after that stretch of almost five years. That's when I realized how special the place is, how different it is, how unique it is. I always say I know, and I'm not kidding myself, Newfoundland is not for everybody. It's not a place that everybody is going to love, but when it is the right place for you, it's the right place for you. It's only the last like, couple of years that I started to, to really become obsessed with seeing the rest of Newfoundland, more of the island anyway. I've yet to set foot in the big land, but Labrador, I'm coming. Just don't know when yet, but I can't wait to, to see Labrador. But some of these places are what I envision Neverland to be. I'm not surprised that the set scouts and the producers and the people behind this movie looked at the coast of Newfoundland as a perfect representation for Neverland. In the last like, maybe two years, I've seen a lot more of the island than I've ever seen before. But just seeing it, it's not like, okay, here's Gross Morn, check it off my list, I'm satisfied. It's not like that. But I can't wait to get back in and jump deeper into all of the different communities that I've, I've started to learn about, that I've, that I've started to experience. This place is so different. I really stand by the statement that you can't find anything like Newfoundland anywhere else in the world. It is, it is that unique. There's a lot of places in the world where people can say there's no place like this, and I agree. There's a lot of places that are very unique around the world. Newfoundland just happens to be one of those places. It's one of those places that is so different from anywhere else.